I've always loved to travel, and last year my girlfriend and I decided to road trip through New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah, which is home to one of the most dangerous hikes in the world, the Buckskin Gulch. For a total of 21 miles, you are enclosed in a very tight slot canyon, which is constantly at risk of severe flash flooding. We just so happened to be going during monsoon season. We signed in at the Bureau of Land Management and parked the car at the end of the canyon, and then hitched a ride to the start of the canyon. We camped there for the night. We started hiking early next morning, walking and swimming through deep, murky pools of stagnant water. Fourteen miles in, we came across the confluence of the Perea River. The river was flowing much higher and faster than deemed safe due to the amount of rain that had flowed into the canyon lately. We had to hike seven miles upstream to get back to our car. It was starting to get dark and we found a sandy embankment to spend the night, hoping that the canyon wouldn't flash. The next day, the Perea River was flowing even higher than the previous night. We started hearing thunder and needed to get out as soon as possible. Eventually, we found a canyon wall that seemed climbable and started the 300-foot semi-vertical climb to get out. The sandstone ledges often broke and slid out from underneath us. We got stuck in a wedge with our backpacks and had to drop them. Eventually, we made it to the top, but only managed to salvage two water bottles. We wandered towards the direction of where we thought the car was until it got dark. We dug grooves next to a bush and tried to stay warm with bark and twigs. We only took little sips of water, but it was all gone by the time it got light again. That day it was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and we started walking again, but exhaustion and dehydration kicked in. We knew we couldn't hike for 10 plus miles back to our car without water. We didn't have cell phone reception, and as the day went by, we started to give up hope that we would make it out alive. It was a terrible feeling thinking that you could be so close to death. On the evening of that third day, two search and rescue team members on foot found us. They sent a helicopter to fly us out. The Bureau of Land Management had contacted search and rescue after they noticed that we never signed out. The search and rescue team was expecting to find us already dead. The next day, the entire canyon flooded and overflowed. We were lucky we were found.